Seema AK47 Spetsnaz. Uh, today we're just going to make this skirmish ready. Uh, so by doing that we're going to do a quick service on it, some very basic upgrades. Uh, already uh, I have swapped out the original barrel for one of those. That's a 603mm uh, interior diameter barrel um, and of course one of the maple leaf hops have gone in already. I've done that first and tested it just to see if power is about where we want it with the current spring and it looks like it is so we'll be keeping the standard spring. Um, other than that we'll do a sort of a full service on the gun just to make sure everything's as it should be um, and just get it ready so it's playable. Right, just so the camera can see, um, I'm going to start shimming the gearbox. Now, this is the bevel gear, and this is what lines up with your motor. Now, at the minute, I've done nothing uh, to change any of the factory standard shims. Now, if I push the axles, you can see how much that is moving. Now our aim is going to be to minimise that movement. Um, that's going to help the gearbox run smoother, it's going to give you less wear and tear, and just improve uh, the length of time the gearbox is going to be uh, good for. So let's make some adjustments. Okay, so now that gear, there is no movement in that whatsoever, so it's going to sit solid, but at the same time, it's not tight, because we still need that to spin freely, which it does. There's no effort to move that whatsoever, so that is perfect. Um, always when I'm checking them, I would say always put your screws in, because that is going to hold your gearbox as the gearbox would be held when it's in the gun when you're testing that bit. Um, now to line the mode truck with that.
Okay, so double gear is now shimmed. Just going to repeat the process with the next two to make sure everything is in position um, and that's the gear's been done. Okay, so that's that. As always, if you screws in for your final check, but they are now turning smooth, and there is next to no movement in any of them axles. So, ready for the next bit. Right now, to do the top part of the gearbox. So that's going to be things like cylinder and piston, spring, spring guide. Now already I've made a decision I want to replace that and I want to replace that purely because plastic plastic I want durability I want never to take this part this gun apart again so I'm going to swap them out so that is going to replace that now I would always say when you're going to choose to put new parts in a gun always make sure they're compatible with the gearbox because I've seen a couple of occasions before where even though it's supposed to fit it doesn't and that's really annoying so that goes in all right there. And then that goes in all right there. So that's gonna be fine. So we're gonna use that. And then the replacement for that is gonna be one of those. Because I like these ones. Piston and cylinder ready to go back together. Um, quick air seal test. Absolutely perfect. Almost forgot the trigger. Okay, with the gun built back to this stage, so that it will now fire, before I spend my time putting the rest of it work together, I'm just going to test it. Two six nine. Two seventy. Two six five. Two six six. That's on a point three two. So that's one point five to about one point. Sorry, one point zero five uh, to one point zero eight joules. So it is where we want it. Two six six. Um, so yeah, let's just complete putting it back together.